Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another wonderful episode of Franchise Frenzy. When last time I discussed the first films that kickstarted the franchises, to which I have ranked from high to low, to which all are solid films because the originals. Or the best, in my opinion. And today, we will be looking at the sequels. The first of many sequels yet to come for these selected franchises I have. So, just thought you couldn't have had enough, or what next? Or perhaps the first film ended perfectly as is. Well, Along came a sequel. So, time to rank the number twos. As for, I will be discussing and ranking all part twos. And joining with me once again is my soul eater plushie, helping me to keep track of my discussion. And ranking on the sequels for this episode. So, same thing, high to low. From the greatest to the not so greatest. And, I'd like to kick off with... Aliens from 1986. When you thought Ilion ended perfectly as is, well, this came out of nowhere. The greatest sequel of all time in my opinion. More Ilians about the most epic sh final showdown in any film history there is. The film that got me into the franchise as a five-year-old and still holds a special place in my heart today as a film connoisseur. Could go on discussing about this one forever, but for now, this is my director's cut release on VHS as well. I do have the theatrical cut on VHS, so stay tuned. For a future review on both cuts. And coming at number two, when mentioning sci fi thrills, another sequel that came out of nowhere, as for audiences thought, the first film ended perfectly as is Predator 2 from 1990. the entire Predator franchise. So, yep, good stuff there. Toss in a lot of comedy. Enough for a splat stick fan favorite in the trilogy. Bunch of quotable one liners, endless gore, and just a mix of wacky terror and scary laughs. I mean, groove. Then Moving on to number four, we got Well, Paramount decide to keep the story rolling with
for their first time ever. And it's not what you'd expect seeing Jason. Has boy, it's my favorite in the entire franchise. And can I mention some of the death scenes from parts 1 and 2 are pretty much ripoffs from Mario Baba's Great Giallo Bay of Blood? Absolutely.